Here we go. The tension is amazing. <laughs> now where are we going? That spins round, we've already had this conversation. <laughs> It's Saturday the 7th of May 2022. We are at <laughs> Victoria Farm at High Cross, Leicestershire. Near Lutterworth. Yeah. <laughs> We've done this intro so many times. I'm going to keep this one. Yeah. And it's a beautiful day. It is. We're uh, here with friends from the old Volkswagen days, although we won't centre on that too much. Um, been here so many times and never actually done this walk. This is the Foss Way. I would like to point out that I've only been here once and it peed it down all day. Um, and we didn't go anywhere because it was horrible. But I've been here so many times. But now he's here with me, I guess who did some research. Yeah, To Heather. find out that there's a monument for Roman to mark the centre of Roman England. Correct. And this is Foss Way, and that's Watling Street. Yeah, there? this is where it's yeah. called High Cross because it's the highest point in Leicestershire, and it's where the Foss Way crosses Watling Street. And there's a monument which I'll stick in in a bit, but this is the intro. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. Oh, sorry, I've I've, I've spoiled. It doesn't I've matter. Spoiled the ending. I, th I think I think people are used to our random ramblings by now. Why change it? Why change yeah. it? There we go. It's quite underwhelming, but that is the monument that marks the uh, Roman centre of England. The Roman centre of England, as Heather says. Anyway, we can't read that because read it's it. all worn away. We could have done a great, could have done a great Heather's made-up fact of the day that this was the chimney of the original house that has been buried under the garden or something. Couldn't we? Well, maybe not. Maybe not. That was poo pooed very quickly. <laughs> anyway, speaking of ancient monuments, here's Heather. <laughs> you can probably see how high up we are from there. Look, this is the Foss Way. And uh, we'll just go in for a wander down, see where it goes and what cracks off. Okay, so a little brief of why we're in a field in Leicestershire with a load of Volkswagen vans and we're in a Fiat Ducato. So many years ago when I had hair and one of said Volkswagen vans, put a picture there, um, this campsite was and still is owned by a guy who was a Volkswagen nut. So we all used to meet here and help each other fix our vans because years ago before all the trendy people got into Volkswagen vans. They were quite old knackers, really. And uh, That's why you got into it. Yeah, well, I got into it, yeah, exactly that, because <laughs> I imported mine from California and it was a bit of a wreck. Because right, you were an old knacker. <laughs> That's right, yeah. And uh, so, yeah, we just used to help each other fix them. And it's just progressed over years and years and years. Uh, at one point, I was left running it because the guy that used to run it asked asked for an assistant. I'm talking about you, Kieran Marshall. I know you watch this. Asked for an assistant to help him. So I said, go on then, I'll help you. And then he went and buggered off and moved to France and left it to me. So I did that for about four years, booked it and helped organize it and stuff, but passed the baton on to someone else. But we still make an appearance now and again I've just caught, caught up with Eddie, the owner, who I haven't seen for four years, so that was nice. And uh, yeah, it's still still much the same. The difference now is now people have invested into these vans a lot more. There's not a lot of fixing goes on, but there's a hell of a lot of drinking that goes on. Socialising. Drinking. <laughs> In a moment, Heather's going to reenact the Roman invasion of wherever it was that the Romans invaded. I know nothing about history and she's got a costume in a little handbag there and she's going to dress up for you but stay tuned if you if you miss that 
you obviously went to make a cup of tea or something. We let Poppy off because we can see for miles and there's nobody coming. And the jumper's off. It's getting very it's warm. Getting very warm. Yeah, it's very humid today anyway. It is. <laughs> it absolutely poured it down last night. Uh, we got here about half six mm -hmm. on the Friday night and uh, had a Domino's pizza delivered. What can you do? Thanks, uh, Lena. Yeah, thanks, Lena, <laughs> who organised it. And uh, then we sat out with the fire pit <laughs> till about half ten, something mm -hmm. like that. But it, it was raining. It started raining about eight o'clock. Yeah, it? it started raining about eight o'clock. So we just sat under the uh, awning on the van with the fire pit. Had a few beers. And uh, you yeah, it rained all night apparently, okay. but I think uh, I think we're safe today. I don't think we're going to see any rain today. Foss Meadows nature area. Let's have a look round. What do you think that is, Pop? It's a big fox. Yeah, it's quite nice England when it's sunny, isn't it? Really. Suppose. Well, it's quite, quite nice in when it's not sunny, but it always looks better when it's sunny. Yeah, I just like the pet, all the greens coming back and the we're well into spring now. The flowers. Come on, come on, quick, 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 quick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was the old man getting up knee sand. Anybody else have that? Pine trees. Twin Pines Mall. <laughs> Old man Peabody had this farm. <laughs> <laughs> My pine. Get the film, get the film. You finished? <laughs> just as I finish, just as I turn the yeah, camera on. Camera shy. Hey, camera shy, mate. Don't you want no more? Pathetic. Pathetic. You're supposed to be on the telly. Drink. You're not a telly dog anymore. Rubbish. You won't have a drink, but will you have a biscuit? Yeah, I'll have a biscuit, yeah. Peanut, yeah. look. What's that there? Look. Crawly thing on my leg. Yeah. It's it's, it's two. Two flies either having reverse sex or <laughs> Maybe that's how they do maybe it. Maybe that's how they do it. Fly sex. Eighteen rated. <laughs> Put that on the thumbnail. <laughs> Go on. Go and do it on somebody else, you pervert. I feel like the old game Buckaroo. <laughs> you can't use that now. Do you want to know what time it is now? 22 minutes past 11. <laughs> Oh, it's a, it's a wheelie thing. <laughs> it's entertaining, My turn. It? It's what you come for. My turn. Oh, this is going to be good. Don't forget that wheelie thing spins round. I can feel Harry Hill doing the voiceover as we speak. £250 is coming my way. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Don't make me laugh. I'm not making you laugh. I'm trying to make you fall. <laughs> They're not big enough to get both feet. Well, I've got bigger feet than you. Yeah, but you just... I just stepped, you see, yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The tension is amazing. <laughs> now where are we going? That spins round. We've already had this conversation. <laughs> Poppy, come here. Say that Poppy. to the camera with, without the swear words. <laughs> that oofing hurt you said. <laughs> I think a bruise will be there. <laughs> Doesn't matter how much how much fat you've got to soften the padding, 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 you've padding got to soften the fall. It's still uh. <laughs> naturally. I showed my concern by laughing off camera. I mean, helping off camera. You know. Yeah. Come here, stupid. Move me or the dog. <laughs> <laughs>
I don't know what part of Indiana Jones. See how I'm deftly coming across here a lot. Deftly? Deft what? <laughs> I wanted to do the um, crypt Krypton Factor. Um, you know, you remember Brian Jacks doing the. Yeah, that was on the Superstars. Superstars. It's a shame I'm off now because I can do about a hundred of them. <laughs> <laughs> right, so as you've turned off the A5, Victoria Farm is just down here on the left hand side. Of the road it is a bed and breakfast as well as a campsite from memory there's about three or four rooms entrance here on the left you can see Victoria Farm caravan site 01455 208 270 and there you see the caravan and motor motorhome club sign uh, entrance is by a, a barrier and uh, they know you've arrived because the CCTV will pick you up. Reception is in the house on the left hand side where you go and book in. And then they, they give you a gate code so you can let yourself in. So there's the reception in the house. And then if you come down this building on the right in the old barn it is the toilets. There's a coin operated showers in there. The Elson Point and the washing up are there. I won't show you in there. It, it's it's clean and tidy, but it, it's it's in it's an old barn. You get the idea. And your waste points are all there. And then in there is the bar. I'll try and film in there later. You've met Dave before, everybody on the channel. This is Dave, who's promised to get his drone up this afternoon. I said never have drone footage on this channel, folks but it's coming as long as the file transfer works. So blame Dave, not me. <laughs> so yeah, there's the lane where I've just walked up and down. And as I say, this is the rally field. And then we're going down now into what officially is the certified site, but not this weekend. It's full of old Volkswagens and some new Volkswagens and a Fiat Ducato. Look. No, it's not a scrapyard, Steve, as you said on my Facebook post yesterday. It's not a scrapyard. This is the uh, the grown-ups area down here. Let's try it, Dave. Yep. And that's where all the persecuted live, in the newer vans and the hard people in the tents. You think I'll put that on if you swear? I didn't swear. I said Richard. You went like that. It's not Richard. Richard in Oh, okay. Where's the E then? <laughs> Look, film me filming you lot. This is this is technology at its best. <laughs> it's pretty good that. What's it? What are you supposed to be, Ralph Wiggum? No. Do your Ralph Wiggum impression? No, I don't even know who that is. Well, it's the bloke on your t-shirt. <laughs> oh, okay. Me fair English? That's impossible. <laughs> Hello. 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 It's up in the sky.
Hi guys! <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> Sunday morning. Sunday morning, tidying up. Hangover? No. Headache? No. Grumpy? No. <laughs> I'll leave that on to you. <laughs> Poppy is anybody's friend with food, look. Even mine. Even Doug's, <laughs> even Doug's friend, yeah. Hello! <laughs> Sunday afternoon, late departure for us. Um, yeah, really, just had a great weekend. And uh, we didn't really film a lot yesterday afternoon when we got from, from the walk, did we? No, because like you say, it's... Uh, we friends. just sat there drinking all afternoon. Yeah, friends and I'll be honest. catching up. And like you say, that's... That's our private time, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that's it really, just wind this up now. We'll be home by two o'clock this afternoon. Get the van all sorted for the next one. And uh, nothing else to say really. No. Because... Fab weekend. It was a fab weekend. You can see we... Yeah, caught the sun a bit. Caught the sun a bit. And, uh, that's it. Yeah, other than a bit of rain on Friday evening. Yeah, Friday evening, yeah, but that don't matter. Yeah. Yesterday, yesterday and today's been ace, hasn't it? Yeah. we just got to de-smoke. Yeah. <laughs> campfire, campfire madness. Campfire smell on all of the clothes that we were sat <laughs> in last night. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> Any hoop, that'll do. Right, okay. Goodbye, fair people. Bye.